Hi there and welcome back to another video of measureschool.com teaching you the data driven way of digital marketing. My name is Julian and today we want to talk about how we can set up and install Google Optimize to run experiments on our website. Now if you have signed up to Google Optimize you obviously need a Google account to do this. You will be greeted with this interface where you can set up your account. Now like in Google Analytics or Google Tag Manager there is a account structure that is nested from account to container and then your experiments. What I would recommend as the account is to choose your company name. Beneath that company you might have different websites. We'll all put this into one account. Now you can optionally tick these boxes and then right here you need to acknowledge the terms of service. Let's click on next and then you will be greeted with the container setup. Now the container lay beneath the account. So here you can enter your website just like this and create your container. Now, like I said, we have all accounts then we have our company account and then beneath that we have our container. So you could have multiple containers in one account if you choose so. From here, we need to go into the setup of Google Optimize on your page. Now I have a demo shop here running on WordPress where I'm going to demonstrate the installation of Google Optimize. The first thing that we see here is where it says create experiment. I would skip this step and go right to link to Google Analytics because this is actually the setup step that we need to undertake. Now we go with link property and here you need to choose your Google Analytics property that your Google account that you are logged in with has access to. So here are different accounts. And I'm going to go with our demo shop right here. Optionally tick the view that you have enabled and then link this to your account. This will open up a new pop up here where we can now add the optimized snippet to our site. Let's get the snippet. And here we have some implementation instructions. Now, in order to install this, they're actually different methods because Google Optimize heavily works together with Google Analytics. And Google Analytics has over the past year experienced different changes to their tracking code. And therefore, we might go through different methods here in order to get this installed. Now, what you definitely need in order to make this work is access to the backend of your website where you can change the HTML page. This might be different for your website depending on how you have installed Google Analytics. But in the end, you should be able to get to the HTML code that lays in the background and be able to edit your Google Analytics code. Now my website is running on WordPress, so I'm going to go in into the admin and access my editor under appearance right here. I can edit the theme files. I have my Google Analytics code installed in the header PHP. Now again, this might differ for your implementation of Google Analytics. And here we find our Google Analytics code right here. This Google Analytics code has changed over the past year. So maybe you have a different version here. We are right now looking at the analytics JS version. So if you find this analytics JS in your code, then you can follow these steps. Now, all we need to do is look at our code here again in this pop up and add this one line require and then GTM this code right here. This has nothing to do with your Google Tag Manager. If you have Google Tag Manager installed, this is something that is required to load the optimized plugin with Google Analytics. So let's go back here and implement this in our page. So that should be it. Update the file. And we should be all set. Let's open up our page and then check with our tag assistant whether Google Optimize is installed correctly. So we have now installed Google Optimize on our page. Now, what if your Google Analytics code looks a bit different from this one and you don't have Analytics JS running? Then the second option that might be the case is actually that you have already the new G tag installed. So let's take a look at this. I'm just going to cut this here and put this under my comments and take the second code out. So what if your code looks like this? This is the new G tag that actually gets recommended. If you go into Google Analytics and install your tracking code, you are not getting the old analytics JS anymore, but the new G tag.js. We did another video on that. If you want to find out more about this, and if you have a complete new installation of Google Analytics, then you might as well take the G tag.js. If you have still the old version running, that's all fine. There's actually no new functionality here and analytics JS is still supported. 
so you don't have to change over your tracking code. But this is just a newer version of an analytics implementation. And here we also have the capability of installing our optimize container. All we need to do is follow the syntax here in the help section where we add our code right here. We need to have a comma after the tracking ID and then this code bit. So let's copy this, go back to the page. And again, after our tracking code, just gonna replace this. We have a comma and then our optimize ID. That would be this ID right here. Let's put that in. And you now have optimize implemented with the G tag. Let's update this, try this out again. And we see we have our global site tag installed and also Google Optimize and Google Analytics. So this is the way how to install this little tracking code with the global site tag. Now the last case that might be how you have Google Analytics installed is actually via Google Tag Manager. So you might have the script of Google Tag Manager installed on your page that deploys your container. Now you might be aware that within Google Tag Manager, you are actually able to use a predefined tag that is called Google Optimize right here, where you can install your Google Analytics ID and your Optimize ID. But when I read through the documentation on how to install Optimize with Google Tag Manager, they actually said that it's not recommended to do the implementation through Google Tag Manager, but rather load the library directly on your page. So the recommended implementation is to actually install your Google Analytics script right here before your Google Tag Manager snippet, exactly again with the require function of your Google Optimize container. But since you might have Google Analytics and the Google Analytics page view tag deployed through Google Tag Manager, you don't wanna double this and that's why you'll take out this page view functionality. And so this code is only here to install Optimize on your page. Again, notice this code is the Optimize container. This has nothing to do with Google Tag Manager. This is your container ID for your Google Tag Manager. When we update this, we should deploy it on our page. Let's refresh. And again, we see we have now Google Tag Manager installed, which deploys our Google Analytics page view tag, and we have our Google Optimize installed. So these are the three cases that you might encounter when you install Google Optimize on your page. At this point, we have Google Optimize installed correctly on our page and can start running experiments. There's an optional step that is highly recommended to install though, and this is the page hiding snippet. So when we go to next here on our pop-up, we actually get a new snippet that is called the page hiding snippet. This hiding snippet reduces the page flickering. This is a effect that your users would encounter when they come to a page where an experiment is running and maybe you have changed, for example, the color of the web page. The user would first see the control version and then your variation, essentially flicking from one version to the next, which is obviously something that's not desirable and could screw your numbers in your test results. And therefore, this hiding snippet actually loads your experiment first and then releases that version on the screen to the user. So there's no flickering effect once the user comes to your test page. Now in order to install this, you simply need to copy this and place it before your analytics tracking code. So in our case, here's our analytics tracking code. We wanna place this beforehand and then we have this page flickering code installed. Now I know some people might think you could install this through Google Tag Manager because you have Google Tag Manager already installed, but this is not recommended because you can't control when a Google Tag Manager code gets deployed and this page hiding snippet would not work in that instant. So now that we have it installed, let's reload the page, see if there are any errors again. Everything is fine. We don't have a tag for the page hiding snippet, but it's installed on our page. You can also see this in our view source. So right here we have our page hiding snippet and that should be working fine. Now we have set up Google Optimize on the page correctly and can go to the next step. We finish this, we have linked our Google Analytics account. The last step that is actually required is to install a Chrome extension to your browser. You'll get this once you start building an experiment. So let's just go into a new experiment. 
you can choose if it is, is an A-B test. We'll have another tutorial on this and the specific page that you want to run this on. Let's create this. And then we can create our variant. And here it then asks us to install our Chrome extension, which we can do right through this menu. It's now installed. You will have this little icon up here and your website will load with Google Optimize installed and the browser plugin will let you build your variation. So this is how you can install and set up Google Optimize on your website. Just to recap, you need to set up an account and a container, link that all to your Google Analytics account, then install Google Optimize plugin into your analytics code, depending on which codes we showed you the different methods and at the hiding snippet before your analytics code loads. And in order to build your variations, you need to install the Google Optimize extension for Chrome. And this is how you can set up Google Optimize on your website. All right, so did you like this video? Then don't hesitate, give us a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more, then you can go over to the next video over there or subscribe to our channel right over there because we will bring you new videos just like this one every week. Now, my name is Julian. See you in the next one.